Hi, my name's Ayaka, and in this episode of Mind Elixir, I'm going to be talking about something I've actually been hearing a lot about recently, toxic positivity. Don't mind your business, mind my podcast, Mind Elixir. So you're probably wondering, how the heck can something positive be toxic? Why is everything toxic now? So let me tell you what toxic positivity is. It's basically the mindset that you just have to be positive. That's the only way to go. No negative emotions whatsoever or anything. And of course it's not terrible to have a positive mindset. I mean, you don't want to be a Debbie Downer or anything. But whenever you you are denying your negative feelings because you just want to keep a positive mindset, that can be detrimental, whether it's to yourself or toxic positivity towards others. It can be harmful whenever it minimizes someone's problems by basically invalidating their struggles or ignoring the root of the problem. And to heal or to gain more positivity in your life, you have to start by actually acknowledging like the current circumstances, how they are feeling, whether that's negative, positive, good, bad, whatever. And positivity actually isn't always necessarily good, and negativity isn't necessarily always bad. I mean, they have good and bad sides to both of them. And obviously, most people don't exhibit toxic positivity on purpose. Most of the times, this toxic positivity, it actually comes from a place of kindness. They're just trying to help you. But people have to understand, like, you can't just make someone's struggles go away by sprinkling a little bit of happiness there, a little inspirational quote or two, or maybe a little bit of love. And Sprinkling some positivity over there. No, that won't make your struggles go away. That just buries them deeper, and that could have some harmful side effects, or, like, maybe you have bad coping methods with that. And I remember I used to love those cheesy inspirational quotes, but now I realize how some of them are, like, they're really just generic and actually kind of toxic. They have that toxic positivity in there. And, like, whenever you feel bad about yourself, it's okay because you have to realize that people, they're they're complex human beings with more emotions than just happiness. We're not just, we don't just function on the happiness and positivity level. And whenever positivity, it becomes toxic, whenever it's just that sickeningly sweet forced positivity, that is toxic. And it can be harmful to you or to others, even whenever you think you're trying to help someone. It can actually be harmful. And I remember I read this one book, Bruiser. Bruiser, yeah. And the moral of the story was actually it can be harmful to have too much pain, but then it can be even more harmful to go without the pain. And I think that actually kind of ties into the toxic positivity part, because you're more than just being positive. You have to have other negative emotions too. Or even the negative emotions aren't necessarily negative. You know what I mean? We're more than just our emotions. A negative emotion doesn't make you a negative person, I guess. And some very common those gen- some very common and generic quotes that actually encourage toxic positivity are it could be worse. Like, seriously, imagine if someone got in a car accident and maybe they lost one of their kids. One of their kids got killed. Would you say, it could be worse. You could have lost two of their kids. They could have lost two of their kids. No, you would not. And I know that's kind of an extreme example. I'm not sure exactly why I went to that one. But I'm just trying to um, help you understand it. And of course, oh yeah, this one. I remember I found this quote. I had actually pinned it on my We Heart It board. And I have no idea why, because it is so cheesy. Happiness is found when you stop comparing yourself to other people. That is actually toxic because happiness isn't just a one-way thing. It's not just a one step. Like I said before, you can't just sprinkle a little little bit of this here. Cut off those people. Do that. Do that. That's not just happiness. It's more than that. It's complex. And obviously, happiness isn't just a state of... It's... Just It's more complex than you think. And another quote I had was, Focus on the good in life. I can't believe I actually like that one, but... Because 
there's more to focus on in the good of good in life if you're just focusing on the good then what about the bad parts what about the parts that you may deem as negative you can't just focus on one part because life is more than that it's more than just being happy stay happy be positive it's more than just that and it can be detrimental to you or to other people whenever they're forcing away and they're you're just forcing happiness upon them and sometimes a person they may appear negative but really you don't know what's going on with them like maybe the person they're not actually negative like for me for example a lot of times um i don't want to get my hopes up just to have my expectations let down and i'll give you exam an example of this for high school i was i applied to a program and you have to see if you get accepted to it or not and i didn't want to get my hopes up because i was scared that i wouldn't get accepted but i did but i guess like you don't want to get too excited about something just to have your hopes come crashing down so i wouldn't really say that's negative it's just i actually have a reason behind that or sometimes a person is just trying to be realistic and cope with the reality of what's going on or another reason could be like a person they don't feel confident within themselves so like all their thoughts it can just cause them to be stuck in this loophole of negative thoughts and actions and they're just thinking of the worst possibilities and maybe they had like a past trauma that causes them to do this that doesn't make them a negative person though your thought your emotions don't define you and maybe they you don't even know like maybe they had like other mental health situations or things going on in the past we never know and like not everything you see as being negative is actually negative for example um maybe someone's talking about their struggles or their past experience with trauma you shouldn't say that they're being negative negative because maybe they're just opening up to you they're being vulnerable with their struggles and their emotions and talking about what they really want to talk about and you saying that they're negative is actually will just make them feel bad about themselves or maybe someone's talking about the injustices of the world they're talking about systemic racism or maybe they're talking about the holocaust i don't know anything like that and you say wow you're so negative that's not really helpful because maybe they just want to open your eyes to the struggles and what's going on in the world today and how it can affect you and how we can change it for the more po make positive change in the world they're not necessarily being a negative person how can you how gain a more positive mindset like combat negative emotions but with healthy positivity well first of all you have to try hope not some un not not any of that aggressive unrealistic hope but a fair amount of hope because whenever you go without hope then that can be kind of sad and of course there's accept whenever you're dealing with someone else you have to have acceptance and allowance and you have to appreciate that they feel that, that they want to open up to you instead of just coming in with your positivity or whatever and don't try to reject their emotions or negative emotions and how they feel try to put it into perspective like by thinking what how would they feel have empathy for them just have empathy for them and maybe if it's for yourself if you're talking about yourself think about what is this negativity do to you so like step back and observe how it's affecting you how the negativity and the positivity it affects you or other people around you and understand that negative emotions don't make you a bad human being because we're more than that and obviously when processing negative emotions you have to realize like it doesn't make you a negative person like i said before you have to process the thoughts and like understand why you're feeling that way instead of just sprinkling positivity and happiness on top of it because that leads to denial which is harmful and maybe you're dealing with someone else make sure to you listen to them instead of rejecting them make sure you listen to their struggles and try to understand and with yourself you can take small actions like maybe look at yourself in the mirror give yourself a compliment 
try try doing little positive things every day maybe writing in a gratitude journal i don't know something like that and of course i know this is cheesy but remember it's okay to not be okay i know that's so cheesy and oversaid but still because it is i mean everyone's different and of course i'm not saying that you should just be pessimistic because pessimism that can be harmful too it can actually like have actual physical harmful effects on your body but of course don't be super ultra optimistic that it's up to the way that it's toxic i know there's like a balance of positivity and negativity and even negative negativity it isn't necessarily negative just make sure you're not gaslighting anyone with your positivity or your positivity that you didn't intend to be toxic but turns out it is toxic thank you for listening there will be resources for black lives matter down below in the description and if you don't press on those links then your toes will fall off but anyway make sure to tell some friends about it tell anybody about it you know anybody you think would care about this podcast And yeah, because I've really been wanting to monetize some of the episodes so that I can have money to donate toward good causes and all of that. And obviously I keep some, but I still want to donate a a reasonable portion of it to good causes. But I need an audience, a larger audience to do so. Thank you. Bye.